Indian born American astronaut Sunita Williams, who holds the record for the largest number of spacewalks for a woman, is in India these days. She took our time to speak exclusively to India today's Smita Sharma. Here's an excerpt. She calls herself Sunny Williams, and we think that she was destined to be with the star, the suns, the space. We are joined here by NASA's astronaut, Captain Sunita Williams. So wonderful to have you here on India Today. Thank you very much, Smita. It's nice to be here. You know, um, all those videos that you put out from space, they make living in space look just so beautiful, so sensuous. And you've said that determination is key to being up there. But the physical side of it aside, mentally, how difficult is it to keep switching between Earth and space? Uh, well, luckily, when we go, we go for a little while. So I think the switch happens a little bit before you go, and then uh, you you turn over until you're you're working there. And it actually feels after a, maybe a week of being up there, like you've been there your whole life, and it feels natural to be there. So luckily, we don't have to do the switching back and forth, um, not on a real rapid basis, a six-month basis, something What is like more that. worrisome, that you don't get to sit perhaps for six months, or you have really <laughs> bad hair days in space? I think all that is wonderful, because <laughs> nobody can give you a hard time about it, about uh, not sitting down or not having a good hair day. So it is, it is what it is, so it's fine. But when you're back home, you know, uh, do you really miss space? Do you look forward to the next expedition completely? Oh, absolutely. Um, you know, but I think part of that also is knowing what's what's going in the future, and not or not knowing what's going in the future. And you know that there's the next group of people who are ready to go fly. So, um, actually, after my last mission, I really thought, you know, that's enough for flying because the next group of folks have to go fly, and that's the way it should be. We should be passing this down to the next group of folks. But uh, a unique opportunity came up, so I might be able to go one more time, which is wow. really exciting. And you'll get to have the space food. How, how does it really <laughs> fare compared to the homemade food? Uh, it's not very good compared to homemade food, of course not. But, um, you know, you don't have a, a huge selection while you're up there. So when you're there, you know, it really does taste pretty good. And, you know, if you're creative, if you are like to cook, and I like to cook, you can actually combine some food and make it sort of interesting so you and cook fun. in space, too. Well, you combine. I wouldn't say wow. really cook. You cook. You combine. And for all of you, as if you really haven't watched all those videos that Captain Williams has over the year put out on YouTube, on social media, you've really got to go and watch them. In one of those videos, I remember you saying that how you can actually see the clouds and figure out which continent you're hovering above yes. or, you know, which country. What does India look like? What do the clouds over India look like when you're up yeah, there on India, space? Uh, India is beautiful. I've been over, uh, I've been flown over uh, this part of the world in all seasons. And, you know, differently, diff different seasons bring with it different type of cloud formations. Um, but, you know, India is a little jewel that sticks out from under, usually underneath the clouds that hover above the Himalayas. And so it's it's pretty obvious where uh, where India is. Uh, my father's from the west coast of India, so I can easily find Gujarat when I'm I'm looking at India there, and it's beautiful. I mean, apparently uh, or obviously um, where the Himalayas hit the Tibetan plateau, uh, you you can obviously see that wow something happened bigger like plate tectonics or something happened here to make the Himalayas that big, and it's it's pretty uh, impressive and it makes you really realize that. Uh, you know, the planet is itself living and breathing, so it's pretty incredible. Just finally, are you following the American elections closely? Is America ready for a women commander-in-chief? I think we've been ready for a long time. It just has to be the right person. Absolutely. It's such an honor to speak to you, and yeah, thank you so much you. for sparing time. We hope you have a comfortable journey, of course, back to the United States. So thank you very much.